Hey guys, Tony, how's everybody doing? Um, I did want to talk a little bit about Neo and a little bit about XPave or, you know, just in general, uh, Chinese uh, car manufacturers and why I am extremely bullish on, on both Neo and Xpeng right now. Um, the really good thing about Xpeng is that it actually just created a bullish trigger or it's going to be closing bullish, you know, it closed bullish this week. Um, and it, and it was the third instance of it bouncing off of trend, right? And it's, it's, it's pretty obvious, right? So you have first touch, second touch, and then you have the third touch, like right there. Um, so for X, for X babe, it's very simple, right? Just take these, this first two run-ups, get the average, and then you get that third run-up, right? So I think X babe is going to $59 by like mid February, right? And I think it's going to, or it, I actually think it's going to do it before. Um, it seems like it's extremely bullish right now, but I think X babe is going to like around $60. Um, I think after it actually breaks, $56, I think there's a potential of it going even further, right? I think if it actually does end up breaking 5650, uh, you can actually see a really big push. Um possibly actually this is this is wrong. I, I gotta use the trend. So, you know, if it does end up breaking 5650, I think there's a really strong chance of it going to like, let me see to like $67, right? So my forecast says 60 bucks, but I think if it does end up actually breaking, you know, $56.50 or at least this relative high, I think you can you can really really see, you know, $67 or where's where is there more resistance here or more? Yeah, I'd say $67 is probably a good target. Um but again, forecast shows 60 bucks. I think it could go further to 67 if it actually ends up breaking that 5650 level. Um, so that's first of all, that's that's Xpeng, right? Neo, unfortunately, is still in its downtrend, right? It's been in a downtrend ever since back here, since January of this year, which is kind of kind of sad, right? Um, you know, fortunately, every single run on the weekly has been ext has done extremely well. I mean, you guys can see right here that. Like right here, I basically thought, you know, it's gonna right here, it's gonna either break resistance and come back down or break resistance and go back up, right? So I think it's gonna break resistance and go up. I think we're headed to like around 50 bucks again by like mid-February. Um if Xpeng is actually gonna be moving like that, I, I highly expect Neo to do to go around the same to do the same thing. Um and I think Neo will more than likely close a bullish week, not this week, but next week. But if Xpeng uh does end up closing that bullish week. Um, then, uh, you know, then I think Neo is going to follow, uh, you know, pretty fast. So, you know, as of right now, I am pretty bullish on, on Chinese car manufacturers because I think they're all going to be roughly moving around the same, the same way. Right. And right now, you know, I do think that, you know, Neo has a really good chance of running from, you know, wherever we are now, which would be right here. These lows of, so I think right now, 27 to 37, I think right now it has a really good chance of going to like $37, right? Back to like around this area with this, with this little square uh, that I put is here. But, um, you know, in, in the long run or a long, longer time frame, uh, like I said, February, mid-February, I do think it's going to be headed back to 50 bucks. And, and the really good part of this is that, um, you know, if it actually hits $50, that means that there's a really good chance that it's going to keep running to 54, possibly 64, because you're breaking a really long term trend that happened at the beginning of this year and you're breaking major resistance at $41.74. So as of right now, I am bullish on NEO and Xpeng. I think they're both going to be rallying to the upside. Um, I think if if you see NEO um, start, you know, seeing some resistance on trend and some resistance at resistance at 4174, this also might affect XPeng. So if Neo goes down, I think that XPeng is probably going to follow. Um, so definitely watch Neo at these levels, like around maybe 40 bucks, 41, 42 dollars to see if it gets broken, um, to, to, to see if you want to start maybe shorting Neo, right? But I think this is going to be a major, major, major level of, of resistance because you do have a, a huge downtrend that it has to kill. And also, you know, major weekly resistance, right? But I think if you see Neo like like around forty three dollars, I think you're pretty much set 
uh, and you're going to be going at 50 bucks. But yeah, as of right now, I'm pretty bullish on both Xpeng and Neo, or you know, generally just uh, Chinese car manufacturers. So I'll see you guys later. I think this will probably happen by mid February. Again, I, there's a there's a big forecast for mid February for a lot of stocks right now. So as of right now, I am bullish, especially after the Walmart TA that I did. It was showing that it wants to uh, it wants to keep pushing back up to the upside. So you know, if Walmart it, 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 you know walmart looks like it wants to run to the upside more than likely that generally means that the stock market is pretty healthy and, and a lot of other a lot of other stocks will follow or at least you know it gives you a really good direction of where the overall market is going because if you have stable stocks like like walmart or target or starbucks or starbucks or coke you know start to show really bullish signs that means that the market uh is gonna is gonna is, is all gonna follow one general direction that's usually what that means right if you have really stable stocks like walmart and starbucks and coke running to the upside generally that means that the overall market is healthy and everything else is gonna follow so i'll see you guys later have a great day Bye bye